Well, I want to thank everybody for tuning in to this video. I said I was going to do an introductory video. Uh, my name is Herstel Edward Begley, and I've been studying the, I guess, the Bagley family now, Begley family, for about 35 odd years now. And uh, my specialty is really into the medieval family that I have tons and tons of time in. Lots of money, I've hired, uh, well, it's like I told my speech, once you, once you get to the 1500s and you go back, everything's in Latin. So, had to have, over the years, been a lot of uh, documents I've had to have transcribed out of Latin to English to know what they say, but it's been a, uh, it's been a great journey, learned a lot. So... This is my introductory video to several videos I'm going to release. I'm going to try to release one once a week, five to ten minutes in length once a week, and that's going to start with several things. I'm going to start from the top of the family and uh, work that medieval genealogy down to you guys. I'm going to share several stories between beheadings and uh, that the family were involved in to uh, their estates and uh the battles they fought in from Agincourt to uh, Poitiers and Crecy and several different battles, families they're related to. And uh, it's going to be very, very interesting. I think a lot of you guys will find it very interesting. I know most people, when they do their genealogy, they're interested in that ancient history. And I'm going to provide that. Uh, hire genie, uh, DNA ex experts over the years, too. So... We're going to deep dive into that DNA with the family name and let you know what we know between uh, several different family members. We've had, you know, DNA tests done and had them deep dive into that DNA. So we're going to find out and let you know what you might be surprised on some of those results. And we're going to, we're going to work this all the way down to at least mm, the Civil War. So we're going to, once a week, we're going to, I'm going to do uh, a video on the oral history. Like I said, my grandfather was born in 1894. My great-grandfather was born in 1856. And at the age of seven, I was so interested in history and our family history. I, talking to several family members, I've uh, wrote down that oral history that I know. And I have stories from the Civil War all the way back to the Middle Ages, even some ghost stories from the Middle Ages you might find interesting. And I'm going to share my correspondence between the uh, College of Arms and my letters from the Duke of Norfolk, uh, the Queen's household, you know, from the Queen's office, and all this during this proceeding, because I was one I ran down trying to get that grant of arms. I'll share all that and that story behind all that. And uh, I'll share some of the old documents I have still. I've got probably 300 documents that date from 1700s all the way up to... And these are originals. I'm not talking about copies. I'm talking about handed down original documents. And uh, it's going to be great. So we're going to break that all down. We're going to share that history. Uh, I'm going to put a link for my PayPal. Like I said, I've spent thousands of dollars over the years. So this has been something that started in the 1980s all the way up until now. I was going to write a book. I've wrote a book before. I was involved with one book with my Uncle Govan. And I uh, helped another lady with some information in another book. But with my work schedule and stuff. And I just don't think books really get what we can get by just doing a video and me talking about it once a week. And it's going to be interesting the way I'm going to do it. And it's not going to be confusing. I'm going to break it down real simple and, and just talk about the family tree. And like I said, most people get online. They look at Sir William Bagley and da 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 da, da And they see these genealogies. All those genealogies are very inaccurate. So don't go by those genealogies you're seeing online. And I'm going to break the genealogy down to you. I'm going to share what I know. And you're going to find it interesting. Like I said, I've hired two different genealogists over in England over the years to really dig into the records. And, you know, and that's one thing you want to do with genealogy is have accuracy. And, uh, but it's, it's going to be neat. 
you're going to find it very interesting the C or the Bagley's Bagley's because believe it or not even in Cheshire England I've seen the name spelled B E G L E G H or whatnot you know all the different spellings but one thing you got to remember is further back you get you throw that name spelling out the door because it just varies from the same person it can be spelled several different times but it's going to be neat uh donate to my paypal that i'm going to have linked there and uh i'll probably shoot that first video out by next sunday and i think I'll, the first video what i'm going to do i'm just going to break down the oral uh, history that was told to me. I'll tell the entire oral history that I know and uh, The following video I'm going to start from the top. I'm going to start from the top of the of the genealogy chart that probably um, I'm saying starts about 1150 and I'm going to share The uh, Well, basically all that but uh Thank you for tuning in. If you're interested in this, definitely donate. Um, this is on the fly, so I didn't plan on saying basically what I said, but I was just going to share what I intend on doing. I just did a video with a genealogy nut, or a, I think it was called Family Tree Nuts, and it was a, on an ancestor that was hung in Barbersville. I'm going to deep dive into that story, too, and uh, he was hung there in 1817. I did a video with them, and it was... Uh, it kind of was like, just seeing how many views I got off of it, I was like, well, I know all this stuff. I've shared a lot with some historians over there, and believe it or not, I've uncovered some stuff that was uh, over in England that kind of rewrote the county's history over there because I had uncovered documents and found things that when they said the Bagley family died out, they're like, well, the Bagley family did not die out. And... That'll, most of that story will be in my, when I talk about the uh, College of Arms and, and things of that nature. And like I said, when I dealt with the College of Arms, I think it was uh, Bettingfield, who was the York Herald at the time. And then I dealt with uh, Peter Gwynne Jones, who was the Garter King of Arms at the time. And uh, some pretty interesting stories in that aspect. So it was a pleasure talking to you guys. We're going to do a video again. I'm going to break it down. We'll start with that oral history, and that'll be next week. And thank you for tuning in.